In this video, I'll show you guys a simple way of editing audio recorded with a pair of earphones like this and a mobile phone. Now I'm using an app called AD Voice Recorder and I'm going to start talking loudly so people think I'm crazy and then I'm going to start talking normal again so people think I'm back to normal. Alright, let's begin. In this video, I'll show you guys a simple way of editing audio recorded with a pair of earphones like this and a mobile phone. Now I'm using an app called AD Voice Recorder and I'm going to start talking loudly so people think I'm crazy and then I'm going to start talking normal again so people think I'm back to normal. Alright, let's begin. Okay, so this is the audio file that I recorded from my phone and I've sent it to my computer. And then before we begin, I just want you guys to know that I'll be using Adobe Audition for this. And um, I'll be making a preset for all the steps that I'll be taking so that those of you who don't want to have to go through all the steps that I'll be showing you guys today can just use the preset to clean up your audio. Also, by now you should already know the importance of audio in videos. Like, I can watch videos in 480p and as long as I can hear what the person is saying, I don't mind. But I believe people that do not care about their data finishing, they watch videos in 4K and the rest. But anyways, let's just begin. So this is Adobe Audition and then I'm going to drag the audio onto... Yep, that's it. So I can minimize this and now I can work on this fully. So as you can see, when I started recording, I didn't see anything for a few seconds. And this is just a way to capture background noise in the audio. So. I'll show you guys how useful it is. Now that I've selected it, if I play it, you just hear that static sound and uh, nobody likes that. All right, so what we will do now is, since I've selected the part that is making that sound, I can press Control, Shift, and P on my laptop, and then this is going to come up. Now this is called noise reduction. So you want to come down here and click on Capture Noise Print. This part that is highlighted is what we want to capture. Then we'll click on this and this is going to come up. All right, so now you're going to get these sliders here and this graph. Now these sliders are just a way to help you reduce the noise in the audio file. So if I give it a play now, you hear what it sounds like. So the noise has been reduced a bit. Now this is a toggle to see if this um, noise reduction is actually working. So I'm going to turn it off and play it again. So I'm sure you can hear a difference. Now if I bring this all the way up to 100% and then bring this one as well to 100%, if I play it this time, you can't hear anything. Normally what I do is it's unnatural for a place to sound completely quiet. It's going to feel weird when people watch your videos and whenever you're quiet, it's totally quiet. So what I normally do is I bring this all the way down to around 4 or 5. And then this one, I bring it to 90%. So it sounds a bit natural. Okay, so after doing that, I'm going to click on select entire file. Normally I do this before, you know, adjusting these sliders. And after that, I can now click on apply. And now if I play it, this is what it sounds now compared to how it was before. Yeah, the noise has been reduced a bit. So that's the first thing I do. Now the next thing I do is I come up here to effects and then I come here to hard limiter. Okay, so you're going to see this. Don't panic. I'll try to make it simple enough for everybody. Um, normally, because this audio file is very short, there's not a lot of spikes. Because as you talk, sometimes your voice gets high, sometimes it gets low. So you see a lot of spikes. Sometimes you shout and the rest. And that's why I actually shouted in the intro that you saw. But anyways, what I want you guys to see is... Now that you have this audio file, then you're going to start looking at, you know, the normal peaks, like the way your voice is going up and down, like how normal is it? So you can see all these lines here, like this one hits minus 15 decibels, then the next one hits minus 9, then minus 6. Now my voice normally is in between minus 15 and uh, whatever is down here. But this time that I'm shouting, it goes all the way to minus 9 and because sometimes I watch videos and when people start shouting, I have to take out my earphones because they don't know how to, you know, bring the, the loudness down. It's not like people are not going to know that you're shouting, but they are going to be able to listen to you shout. So what you want to do is when you get to this part, then you can press Ctrl A to select all if you want. You don't have to do it. And then you look at the, the audio file. Like I said, this is a very small one. If I... When I'm done with this video, I'll show you guys what it looks like, a normal audio file, and you'll see all the spikes. But then, 
from this one i can see that okay my voice the normal way my voice sounds it goes up to minus 15 and then it comes down a bit so what i'll do now is just adjust this one to get to minus 15. So if your normal voice is heading up to this part and then when you shout it goes up here then you want to use your normal voice. So I'll stop at minus 15 and then I'll click on apply. So as you can see the parts where I was shouting have been brought down. And uh, okay let me just play it and see. Now I'm going to start talking loudly so you people think I'm crazy and then I'm going to start talking normal again so people think I'm back to normal. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to how it was and uh, I'll advise that you reduce your volume so your ears don't get blown out. Alright. Now I'm going to start talking loudly so you people think I'm crazy and then I'm going to start talking normal again. Okay. So yeah, that was it. Alright. So after that, what I do next is I come to effects and then here and then I come down here to multiband compressor. Now I want to enhance the highs. Now, when it comes to voices, as a male, my voice has a lot of bass. And um, because of the bass, you may not be able to hear what I say sometimes because it's going to sound like, mm, you know, the vibration is going to hinder you from hearing what I'm saying. So I come up here and select highs so that my the highs can be pushed and the bass will be reduced. And after that, I'll click on apply. And then I'm going to play it for you guys to hear. In this video, I'll show you guys a simple way of and then I'll go back to how it was before. In this video, I'll show you guys a simple way. I may not hear the difference, but um, I'll show you guys another step I take. Uh, it's effects, filter, and EQ, and then parametric equalizer. And this um, line may seem a bit confusing to you. Essentially, what it's doing is that it is reducing the bass of my voice and then increasing the highs so that you guys will hear my voice really well. I have a preset for this, it's called Shaibu, yeah, this is it right here. And if you guys want to get this exact settings, then you just need to come down here, adjust these um, values to the way you see them. One and two are not selected, the blue ones are the ones that have been adjusted. So you want yours to also look like this. So you can pause the screen if you want and then adjust it to how it is. And when you're done, you click on apply. All right, so I'm going to give it a play again. In this video, I'll show you guys a simple way of... Let's go back to the beginning to hear how it sounds like. In this video, I'll show you guys a simple way of... All right, so the next thing I do is I come to effects. I come over here to hard limiter again. And um, because this audio file is not very long, there's not a lot of spikes going on. Like normally after I'm done editing, if I get to this part, I'll see some spikes on parts of the audio that is going above the normal voice and then I have to you know, come here and bring it back down again. But uh, since nothing is happening here and um, the audio file looks um, around normal, so I think I'll just leave it this way. And uh, yeah, I don't have to do anything. So the next thing I do is I come to effects again, special, and then vocal enhancer. And um, well, if you want your voice to sound more manly, you select this. If you want your voice to sound more female, you select this one. But I don't know why for me, it's, it's music that works. So I select music and then I click on apply. Okay, so let's give it a play. In this video, I'll show you guys a simple way of editing audio recorded with a pair of earphones like this. Okay, so this is all I do to edit my audio. Now, there's a final step you have to take because as it is, the audio is way too low. So you don't want people to start, you know, coming, attacking you with comments and saying your audio is too low and they have to increase their volume all the way up. So you want to come here to favorites and then you click on normalize to minus 0.1 dB. And it's going to do this to the audio file. And what this is doing is that it is bringing the volume up, but not in a way that it's going to blast out people's ears and all that stuff. So after this, you come here to file export and then file you can give it a name so i can name this one clean audio or improved audio and then this part is going to select where you want to store the audio file so you click on browse and then you navigate to the folder where you want the audio file to be saved and i always save with mp3 so if you guys want to use any other formats well you have all of them here but I recommend mp3 
And I think that's all. These parts I can't adjust, I don't know why. And then I click on OK. And that's it. The video will be saved in the folder that I specified. So these are all the steps. You can screenshot this if you want. And uh, yeah, you can be using it from now on. All right, like I said earlier, I'll be creating a preset so you don't have to memorize all the steps that I've taken here. When I do it, I'll create a video on how you can use the preset. However, it's not going to be free. But if you use it, you're going to support me to, you know, help me grow this channel as well. And uh, if you also want me to edit your audio for you, well, you can contact me on Instagram and then maybe we can come to a deal. If it suits both of us, then I can help you out with your audio file. Alright, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.